Melbourne. Now is the leader of the Nationals in the Senate, Senator Bridget McKenzie. Senator McKenzie, great to see you tonight. You must be stoked at this announcement. Yeah, Glee, so it's absolutely fantastic. You know, uh, just yesterday saw the three kilometre, uh, you know, line, the queue to uh, get across the border here in Albury, Wodonga for people going to work, going to school, getting doctor's appointments to, to have that news that finally after 138 days, nearly five months, that we'll be able to live as one community again is fantastic. Um, I just hope that people on this side of the border don't forget why we got there and that's the incompetence of our state Labor government with their contact tracing and quarantine systems. But up here on the border, everyone's absolutely stoked um, and we can't wait for that two weeks to come when we can uh, once again be one community. Bridget, if only Anastasia Palaszczuk got the same memo. Look, I tell you, Peter, this is exactly, I think, one of the great tragedies of going through uh, this COVID recovery uh, period, and it is the trashing of science being used uh, by premiers to make decisions. I think we've seen, you know, a terrible politicisation uh, and then consequential impact on real people's lives as a result of premiers playing politics, uh, whether uh, they're red or blue premiers. But Palaszczuk has absolutely no excuse, nor does McGowan, uh, nor, might I say, does Marshall, uh, in not actually opening up the borders and using best science to determine how we can go about living in a COVID safe way as one country. Um, we've seen, you know, tens of billions of dollars trashed in our state economy here. We've had um, hundreds of thousands of Victorians lose their jobs. We've seen a 31% increase in, in mental health issues as a result of the lockdown uh, and the poor, you know, uh, controlling of the COVID safe response by, by Premier Andrews. But I think premiers on the whole need to use science and then give people confidence mm. that they're using science to base those decisions on rather than playing politics as they have done. So open up the borders, Palaszczuk. We've got no excuse now. Yeah, I think when the postmortems are done, Bridget, on exactly how this pandemic was handled, I think the fact that the regions copped it in the neck will be one of the really sad outcomes that we conclude. Yep. Absolutely. And they've borne the brunt, uh, all the border communities right across the country who are typically operate as one. We've seen our agricultural industry struggling to find the workforce they need um, to actually get the crop off, um, get harvest done in, in the grains industry, uh, all because premiers have made very city-centric decisions. I think it's one of the, you know, I've spent the afternoon uh, watching the outcome of the US election. And I think, you know, the real take home from that is that if you don't listen to rural voters and you don't listen to working people, yep. um, you get a very surprising election result, irrespective of who wins over there um, over this coming period. It really is testament yep. to country people uh, wanting to have their voice heard yep. and not finding the left wing have anything sensible to say on their behalf. Senator Bridget McKenzie, thank you for joining us tonight. Much appreciated. Anytime, guys. You should come down and see me now. The borders are open in two weeks. Absolutely. We'll do the show from there for, for a while.